I'm Roy Robertson, and this is Good Business San Diego. I'm joined today by Dr. Christy Lethert, who's an oncologist with Kaiser Permanente San Diego, who is here today with important information about breast cancer awareness and treatment options as October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Breast cancer is a disease that's affected so many people who are watching today. Uh, some of the friends uh, that I, I have had since they've been diagnosed, they're great success stories. Let's talk about some of the advancements that have been made. Yes, um, although breast cancer does remain the most common cancer diagnosis in women after skin cancer, there are so many women out there that are winning their fight against breast cancer every day due to the advancements in both detection and in treatment. Early detection remains one of our most important tools in starting that fight against breast cancer because in general, breast cancer is most curable when caught in its earlier stages. So regular checkups, screening mammograms, and discussions with your medical provider about your breast health are absolutely critical to line women up to succeed with their breast cancer battle. So who should get screened and how often, or does that vary from patient to patient individually? So it is individualized, but in general, women should start screening mammograms between the ages of 40 to 50, depending on risk factors and family history. Some women with a very strong family history will be recommended to start even sooner. The mammograms continue every one to two years based on a woman's age, their personal and their family risk factors. So ongoing discussions with your medical provider about screening recommendations for you and when to start screening, and even discussions when to consider stopping screening are very important. We've talked with uh, Kaiser Permanente physicians about this since the start of the pandemic. Some people hesitant to come in and get medical treatment. What's your message to them? So my message is even though COVID has changed the way we live our lives dramatically, it should not prevent us from getting our screening mammograms. Multiple studies have shown that early detection of breast cancer lowers breast cancer related death rates. We are doing everything we can to keep our members safe um, and healthy during these challenging times. So please come in. Sure. And let's talk about some of these symptoms that uh, women should be aware of. Some of them very subtle, right? Right, most women will have no symptoms at the time of their breast cancer diagnosis. There are women that do report feeling their mass or a lump. Sometimes women report a change in the way the breast looks or feels. Some women know a change in the skin or the nipple, such as nipple discharge or flattening. The most important thing is that if a woman has concerning breast symptoms, never hesitate to make an appointment with your medical provider. Right, absolutely. Let's talk briefly about some of the treatment options uh, that a patient might expect. So breast cancer treatment is fairly complex and individualized. It's a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, hormone blocking therapies, and sometimes even targeted treatments. Many women won't need all of these treatments, but working with your medical team to determine which treatments are appropriate for you is very important. Your team should tell you why or why not a treatment's recommended, the risks and benefits, the potential side effects, and ultimately come up with a plan that fits your specific breast cancer based on your age, your pre-existing health, and the stage and type of breast cancer. And Dr. Lether, just a few minutes, pardon me, a few seconds left here, but uh, what would be your advice to viewers? Obviously, it's, it's get screened first and foremost, right? Yeah, it's to get out there this year and get screened. Lower that risk of, of breast cancer-related deaths by getting your mammogram. Okay, it's yeah. critical, and this is a month not only to be aware, but to take action. Go to kp.org to find out more and search breast cancer to learn more, kp.org.